What if I told you that as an American, you are not being represented? And I don't mean that as hyperbole, but in order for me to explain how we are not being represented, I need to explain to you what a PAC is. P-A-C. And PAC stands for Political Action Committee. This is when corporations and big businesses band together their money and resources for a political campaign. And I'm going to repeat that. It's when big businesses and corporations band their money and resources together to support a political candidate and their campaign. And these are the donors that fund all the major campaigns. Small dollar donations go a long way, but not like these PAC donors. I mean, just explaining that sounds sus. And with these PACs, you also get lobbyists. And it's the lobbyists that monitor Congress and not the citizens because the lobbyists are there to make sure the corporate donors are happy. And it also creates a really weird revolving door because members of Congress are allowed to own stock. And do you know what else a politician can do after they leave office? Become a lobbyist. And sometimes you have the lobbyists becoming the politicians. A recent Harvard study showed that the laws passed by the federal legislators benefit businesses, the top 1%, the owner and the donor class, and not the average citizen. Over 69% of Americans support reproductive rights. Over 80% of Americans support universal background checks. Over 70% of Americans want to legalize the devil's lettuce. Over 69% of Americans support universal health care. The Democratic Party has had supermajorities going all the way back to Bill Clinton and they still did not codify Roe v. Wade. There was no excuse. But they also have no incentive to do their job. And here's what I mean. Between the corporate donors and our tax dollars, they got money for days. But United States citizens do not, and I repeat, we do not have the right to recall our elected legislators. And that's something that makes campaign promises really shitty. The campaign promises are literally only designed to get your vote. And after you vote, it stops there. And that's when the political theater starts. Because no matter what side of the aisle you're on, you hear the same things. Well, we tried, guys, but you know the other side got in the way. And it's funny how they pretend that they hate each other. They all go to the same golf courses, the same country clubs, the same restaurants. They own stocks in the same companies. They're in this together. And they're running out the back door with all the money laughing at us. So America is not a republic. America is an oligarchy. And for those of you that tell me I'm stupid for not voting for Joe Biden, the same people that tell me I must want Trump as president, people that tell me that Joe Biden is the most viable candidate with a 38% approval rating, it doesn't matter who the president is because the politicians are already bought and it has nothing to do with us.